hey 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 welcome back guys and girls to computer networking tutorial series by ifectner.com and we will continue our discussion on osi model and now we will discuss in detail uh, about different layers in osi model so as i have already told you that the first layer uh, which uh, or the last layer which uh, communicates directly with the applications and the users is called the application layer so it interacts directly with the users and with the applications and uh, other tasks of the application layers are to identify communication partners to determine uh, resource availability and to synchronize the communication but just to make it simple let's remember that uh, application layer is the layer which directly interacts with the user and the applications and the application layer divides the uh, divides the uh, message into pdus and pdus stands for protocol data units protocol data units and it hands, hands over those PDUs to the layer under it and that layer is called presentation layer presentation layer in the OSI model and uh, the presentation layer is also called the syntax layer I will tell you why do we call it a syntax layer or a data formatting layer. It is called the syntax layer or data formatting layer because it transforms data in the form that applications accept. So the presentation layer presents the data to the application layer and then the application layer gives it to the application and we can read the messages if we are receiving a data and if we are sending a data then the application layers hands over the data to the presentation layer and the presentation layer converts that data or format that data into a format that computers understand so the main purpose of the presentation layer is to present the data and it also in addition to presenting the data it also encrypts or decrypt the data because the communication on the network has to be secured so the data has to be secured it has to be encrypted and on the receiving it and it has to be decrypted and it is the responsibility of the presentation layer to do it under the presentation layer we have got session layer and what are the responsibilities of the session layer in OSI model the main responsibility of a session layer is to establish a session or to establish a connection between the two nodes so it does establishes a connection between the two nodes between the two communication nodes and in addition it also maintains that connection and when the communication has been done it terminates that connection so it establishes manages and terminates the connection between the local and the remote 
device or a node. And it, it is also the responsibility of the session layer to secure the session. So it also secures the session. On number four, we have got transport layer. And uh, as I have, I have already told you that our TCP protocol, transmission control protocol, it works on the transport layer. And the main responsibility of the transport layer is to reliably send data packets between nodes. So it converts the data into packets Packets are converted into data on the transport layer and then those packets are reliably sent to the remote computer and it is the responsibility of the transport layer to do it. In addition, it also corrects the sequence of the packets and it is the responsibility of the transport layer is to send the packets without errors. So if the transport layer converts the packets and sequence them as number one, number two, number three at the source computer, then it is the responsibility of the transport layer on the receiving or the remote computer to sequence those packets in the same order and to check for errors. So we have already discussed that uh, the packets on internet, they go from different routes. And when they are received on the router, then they are sequenced again.